Good morning, everyone. This is Diane Murray at Southern Art Gallery. And today we are painting this uh, lovely scene that I um, got off Pixabay for a, an advanced class that I'm teaching. I've already done a sketch and transfer of this. I'm leaving the background fairly diffuse because we'll go in and add that as we, um, as we go along with our background. But this will be our transfer. So this is where we'll get started. Okay, we're back. And I have masked out all the whiter areas. They're not true white, but I wanted to go ahead and mask those out just to save them. And then later we'll go back in and tint those. Um, right now I'm gonna lay in the lightest color here that I see, which is a pale green. I'm gonna lay in the under paintings for the for pretty much everything and I'm gonna lay in the really light green for up here and then I'm gonna mask that off and I will be back all right we're back <clears throat> and I've laid in this really bright underpainting here for the grasses back here and I'm gonna go in and mask out some of these lighter areas on this uh, on these weeds or I guess they're cattails whatever they are I've laid in an underwash of all the colors where my darks, this is kind of like a, um, a value study at the same time because I'm lay, I'm, as I do this, I'm figuring out where my darks are going to be and my lightest lights are going to be. So I'm going to mask this out and I'll be back and then we will work on painting this. Okay, I've taken a mixture of ultramarine blue and Payne's gray with a little bit of green in it. And I've made some darker areas at the base of the um, reeds so that that'll read darker. And then I've, I've used some of the other greens on the palette just in a random fashion to uh, go along and make this nice background that should show up quite nicely against those lighter reeds. And maybe we'll add even a little bit of a lighter touch up in here. Now this is very wet right now because this is I've already put one coat layer on here, so I'm just lightening some areas here and there just to give it some interest. And we'll let that dry. I'm painting on an arches block here, 140 pound, so it's not going to buckle. Okay. So, that's what that looks like. See, that's going to be beautiful against this um, lighter water, which is, I guess, algae, actually. It looks like a pond with algae in it. I went in here again with, with my greens, with my ultramarine blue in here for the darker areas, for this um, brighter green over here, and the mix is the same. For this green, it's a phthalo blue and lemon yellow. And if I want it to be duller, I just add, a, or darker, I add a little ultramarine. This is burnt sienna. And I've gone in and I've started laying in the darkest darks in here. And I always do this gradually so that there aren't any uh, big surprises. So we're gonna let this dry and see where we are. And I'm sure I'm gonna be pushing this uh, blacker and darker. Just put more Payne's Gray in that green and really push that, because that is very dark, and that's what gives it this wonderful look. Okay, we're back. And I basically went in with this little ruling pen, which is a uh, wonderful little device. They're kind of hard to find, but you can find them um, sometimes in office supplies. And I went back in and added more masking over these greens so that when I push it darker, these middle, middle greens will show up. So we'll have a lot of contrast back in here. And I actually put the masking down and then blew it so that it would uh, migrate upward. Just like you, you blow uh, watercolor, you can blow masking fluid. So we're gonna stop here and let this thoroughly dry and then I'll go back in with a darker wash back here and start building some of these darks and finish building this up and then we'll take the masking fluid off. 
So I'm basically taking the greens that were on my palette and just adding a little Payne's Gray to get a nice dark. And if you do it this way, you will get harmony in your blacks. Your blacks will harmonize with the rest of your painting. Let's leave a nice wet edge right here. As we push that darker. And I don't want it darker everywhere. I just want it darker in some areas. I think right on the edge. We'll make the edges darker. Just to pull you into the uh, focal point, which of course is the little heron sitting here. That's just straight <clears throat> Payne's Gray there. So I really want this dark so that these look lighter when you get up in here, especially around him. And if you notice in the photograph, it is very much darker right along this dark bank. Go with whatever we have on our palette here to kind of soften that a bit. Could even add a little yellow if we wanted to, to really brighten this up in here. And that's probably going to be it for that background, but <clears throat> we never determine that until, of course, we see where, the, um, where everything has dried and how it is dried. I'll put a little more dark. See, it's wanting to catch there because of the masking fluid. So, the way we will avoid that is we will just turn it this way and let it run that way. And that will be a little softer transition there. that way a little bit up in there all right I'm liking that all right so I think I'm gonna darken the boat up a little bit so I need to go back to my original mixture which of course was the lemon yellow and the phthalo blue to make that nice green, bright green, and then add a little more blue to that, but I'm gonna add a little ultramarine this time so I can get a nice blue-green, which that's probably too bright and too dark. So let's water that down a little bit. And that's generally what I do if, um, if it's too intense. I'll just knock it back and it might be that that ultramarine is a bit too dark so let's see what we get there that's a nice color let's try that but not with that brush I don't paint with a flat brush generally this is the brush I mix with and I mix everything with this it's a Princeton Neptune and I use it for mixing but I do not use it for um, actual painting because I like round brushes and I'm gonna go in with this. And let's see what we've got here. No, oh, yeah, that's a very nice blue green. I like that. Okay, and then I'm gonna scoot down. And the this brush is a um an Escoda. It's a Perla. It's a synthetic brush <clears throat> by Escoda. And I really like this brush. Just going to take that right down here into the water. All right, that's a bit dark. We'll see what happens when we go over here. I'm actually going to lay this right in. Oh, I love that. I love that color. And because I laid in this, uh, this shadow earlier, it's still bleeding through. And I'm gonna 
as you can see, I'm gonna kind of make it, make this rough. The um, synthetic brush doesn't hold as much water, so your washes aren't. Well, we're gonna need a little more water than that. Let's just add more water. There we go. That's what we wanted. And I'm going right over everything with this color. And this will give us that nice, another nice layer here. Just kind of blends everything together with the boat. I really like this color of this boat, so I'm happy with that. Really, I could have, um, our photograph is kind of blurred when it comes down here, so we're kind of going to have to make this up as we go along. Let's just go right over the blue, and I'll soften all that in. All right. I'm really happy with that. I am going to add a little bit of that color over here just to carry through, though. And I think... Maybe underneath there, and there a little bit, and there a little bit. Just darkening that up a little bit there. Make that a nicer transition there. Okay. And I think, other than putting in the dark darks under here, I think the boat's pretty much done. I'm not going to really push it push the color a lot on that. I think I'm just, I'm real happy with this down here. So I might just add a little green to that water, just for the heck of it. And remember, this is masked down here, so we do have a darker spot down here for some reason. So we will put that in. And I'm just going to go play in here a little bit, with a, add a little bit of color in here, because this is sort of a bit pale. Just giving us some color here and there. Just dance your bus around. Nothing really defined. Just for a little more color in there. Because it was looking a little washed out. Like that. So that looks like waves. So I think I'm pretty happy with that. So I'm going to dry this and I'm going to go back in with this shadow color, which will be pretty much uh, ultramarine and Payne's gray. We'll go ahead and make it up.